been a week since a father from Colorado was gunned down in cold blood in front of his family on South Beach. And now the city is making big changes to try to keep this from happening again. The Miami Beach mayor is calling for a much larger police presence in the city's famous entertainment district. So you see this happy, blended family, multicultural family. The woman's obviously of Ombrito heritage, and the dad's clearly a glacier glider. They made a cute little son right there. Salute to them. What a beautiful family. Um, but as you can see, once again, the phrase, they ruin everything, is apropos. Because this is a place right here. This Miami Beach area. This is a place where it's supposed to be fun. Now, I did several stories during spring break. The sun was shining in spring break. I'm talking about they they don't call it the sunshine state for no reason. Okay? But, you know, things kind of simmer down after spring break because there were less sun rays shining on Miami Beach. But now, for some reason... The sun has returned. I keep hearing people talking about winter's coming. The sun is coming. And everyone has to suffer. Because so many people come down here and just have a good time. Family time. Go to shops. Go to bistros. Go to restaurants. Have dinner. Walk on the boardwalk. Take selfies. Enjoy the sights and sounds. Buy things. Spend money. Get hotel rooms. It's a very nice area. Very nice time. And now. It's going to be flooded with cops. Local 10 News reporter Christian De La Rosa is live with all of the details. Christian. Well, Nicole, we know this isn't the first time that the city has called for increased manpower here on South Beach. But as you said, since last week's terrifying murder, here we are again. And the question again is, will it work? No. That's what I say. I don't think it will work. I'm interested to know what you guys in the chat think. I'm giving it an emphatic no. Nothing works. All this may do is divert it, get a lot of people arrested who will get out the next day and continue to commit crimes. Now, I do think, I will say this, it will make it safe for the people down there. They'll feel safer. It'll be harder for the criminals to commit violent crimes. People will have more peace of mind. I'll give you that. There'll be more peace of mind for the people. Well, Nicole, we know this isn't the first time that the city has called for increased manpower here on South Beach. But as you said, since last week's terrifying murder, here we are again. And the question again is, will it work? From the gunfire to the stabbings, mass misbehavior on the streets, and the cold-blooded murder of a young father in front of his family and in broad daylight just last week. Let's talk about South Beach. The mayor of Miami Beach kicks off the holiday weekend announcing what he says will be the highest level of police presence 
ever seen on South Beach's entertainment district to fight crime. These officers will work on high visibility patrols. 40 additional officers are being reassigned to South Beach. 10 additional Miami-Dade police officers will be added every weekend. More code compliance teams, park rangers, and homeless outreach and sanitation teams hitting the streets effective immediately. Now, you know what? If I'm wrong, I'm, I'll change my mind. I'm not married to any of these views I have. This might work. <laughs> this might work. Because you see, they're adding 10 additional officers every weekend. So, it's not a stagnant plan. It's not a, it's, it's going to continue to, you know, <laughs> evolve and morph and meet the challenges more code compliance teams so they're doing broken windows policing <laughs> so they're not letting you the little stuff they 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 go yeah. man these cops petty man man they only did that cuz I'm black if I was white they wouldn't have did it. yep jaywalking littering loitering all that stuff So, broken windows policing. We're, we're going to see an uptick in arrests. Now, the reason I initially said it didn't, wasn't going to work because I was thinking big picture because the judges and the prosecutors are going to fail the people on their end. However, just the people in the place where they are, they're going to have a much better, safer experience. So I will say that it, it will work. This will work in my estimation. 40 additional officers are being reassigned to South Beach. 10 additional Miami-Dade police officers will be added every weekend. More code compliance teams park rangers and homeless outreach and sanitation teams hitting the streets effective immediately it's the latest round of increased policing on the beach following the wave of overwhelming violence during this pandemic this year alone we have arrested 3154 people in south beach and 1593 of these arrestees more than half we're in just the tiny entertainment district. Over 3,000 people in South Beach this year. Do you think they're going to give us a breakdown on that as far as demographics? Hmm? You think they'll give us a demographic breakdown on that? I don't think so either. We will throw more police more code officers at this challenge, but we must acknowledge that it's just not sustainable. Damn, man, you got me looking bad on my own channel, man. <laughs> I said this might work, man. <laughs> Even the man talking about it, this ain't gonna work, but we, we, we just doing it because, you know, the people need to feel safe. Peace of mind, but this ain't gonna work. <laughs> God, duh. Even the man don't think it's gonna work. Wow. 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 We will throw more police, more code officers at this challenge, but we must acknowledge that it's just not sustainable. City documents show that between fiscal year 2021 and 2022, 26 additional Miami Beach police officers are supposed to be hired. And to reach that goal, the city's offering the highest signing bonus in Miami-Dade County. So now they're joining the ranks of Walmart and Target, Home Depot with these signing bonuses. Defund is dead. Defund has to be the biggest failure in American history as far as 
there's nothing that's been a huger failure than this. Like, they're hiring all these cops. Now they're... <laughs> Before be that soon, soon they're gonna be giving like away. Cops are gonna have a better, a better package, <laughs> amenities package at their job than anybody. I mean, just think about that. Defund is the biggest failure in American history. <laughs> 